So the BMW E46 uh, N42 engine, uh, the timing chain tensioner. It's the old design and the new design. So the old design is this one. So you got a uh, uh, secret uh, head and this is a, a newer version. Uh, you can see if you align uh, here together, they are same, nearly the same length to this uh, uh, secret part, uh, although the thread at a different position. And also you see the, the piston part and the new design is longer and this is shorter. It is about uh, five millimeter uh, longer for the new design. Another difference is uh, the see the new design. You have the hole at very bottom. There's the one here, and there's the one on the other side. So there are two holes, uh, and uh, at the bottom, and it's a small hole for the old design. See the hole is uh, much. Uh, uh, like uh, around the uh, closer to the middle there's the one there's another one so the two hole and if you compare the hole they are really uh, different uh, size say if you use the so you see this uh, how big is that one or about six six uh, six and a half or something and that one is very very tiny you can see clearly okay whatever that's a much uh, smaller hole than this one uh, now this two I think uh, there's uh, no oil in you can compress and you can compress and the spring in this is much stronger than this uh, old design. So we have got uh, uh, no oil inside and we can actually measure uh, roughly uh, how strong the spring is. So we have here uh, some uh, bathroom weight and this one only show number if it's more than 10 kilos so that won't work. And this, we have to use this old uh, mechanical one uh, and try. Uh, what we're going to do is that, uh, so we have this uh, piston and we're going to press against the weight to the bottom and then with a little bit of release. So don't uh, let my uh, pressure to affect the, the, the weight. So we're going to uh, press to the bottom and back a little bit so the spring at nearly the compressed states, let's say uh, how much it's going to be. So we're going to press to the bottom and I release a little bit. So that's about eight kilo for this weight. And again, press to the bottom and release a bit. So it's about eight. And uh, this is a uh, old one. That's the spring strength. So zero. Okay. I mean, my camera is nearly zero. Uh, my camera there may be okay. This is more about my hand. Okay. I press it to the bottom and release a bit. About a five kilo. Do it again. Press to the bottom and release a bit. So this is about uh, five kilo. So that's the difference, that's the strength of the spring. Now I have got some uh, uh, oil, uh, whatever oil they are, fully synthetic. And I put uh, the piston into the engine oil. I'm trying to fill some uh, uh, oil to say uh, what the difference. Uh, I will try to do that. Another thing you can see, there's a small hole here on the top. So this is the old design. And this is a new design, it's also there's a small hole. This is, a, I think, is a very, very similar size. It's not on the light. Yeah, I think it's similar size for the top hole. So I try to get the air out. 
through the hole, the hole is up here. Uh, okay. Much harder, I press the one so there's some bubble out. So this second time seems okay, there's some bubble coming out. There's another bubble coming out. More bubble. Yeah, it's a harder to press. It's much harder to press, even. Yeah. Okay, I will, I will just uh, feel more oil press more with my tool by hand. Okay, I tried to get uh, oil into this uh, uh, piston. And I found that you can, uh, you can, if you leave this hole open, and every time you press it down, there's going to be bubble. So when it's coming up, the air will get into from this small hole. And next time you press down, there's a bubble again. But if I block this hole, and then I press, it needs some strength, not with my hand. If you uh, press, there's more uh, resistance and every time you try up and down, there are going to be less air bubble uh, for this uh, old uh, design. So I will try the new one. So the old one, there the hole, let hole open. Every time press down, there's going to be bubble. When the piston coming up, the air get in from here and come press down and there's more bubble. If you block it, the more resistance and less bubble every time you press it down. Let's uh, have a look at the uh, uh, new one. And for this new design, I try to compress down. I didn't say a bubble or maybe some I didn't say from bottom hole, but bubble, but the air, I can hear air from this uh, uh, top uh, uh, small hole. Every time I press down, it's coming out. Every time I press down, it's coming out. Until several times now, I cannot with uh, with uh, both my hand press down. I can't press at all. So it's now become a solid hole. So we have this, and I press several times, and I couldn't use use both my hand to press down at all. But that one, the older one, always I can press down. There may be problem with that one. I removed a few years ago. So this is a, a newer one. Uh, I can try again. Uh, let's see. Now I put my camera on a tripod. We can try this. So this is the uh, big hole, uh, old design. Let's say the big hole. This is old design. So if I try to press, use my two hand. You see, I can press down. Every time there's a bubble in the oil. If I block this hole, the top hole, and press to the bubble, less bubble, and getting harder. If I block the hole, it's getting harder. But still, I can press down. There are tiny bubble coming out. I can still press down every time, no big bubble. And it's much harder if I block the small hole. If I release the small hole on the top and just press, first time it is still, <laughs> still hard to press down. <sighs> Maybe I just uh, use two hand. Press it down and release the hole. Release the hole, let the air in from the top, and I press down, you see, every time bubble. If I don't block the hole, every time it's like this, not much resistance. If I block a hole, there's more resistance. So this is the uh, old design. And uh, this is a... Uh, New design, you see the, the small hole uh, in the light from the window. So the small hole at the bottom, you see there, and we put it down there. 
I already uh, pressed. I didn't blow the hole. I just uh, press. You see that the oil coming from the small hole. Let me give you more light. to see. Uh, okay. You see the you see the oil. If I press down, the oil coming out from the small hole. So it doesn't matter. Whatever I press down is is a solid. Say so just a little bit of oil coming from the top hole, but the whole uh, tensioner is uh, becoming very solid. So now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to use the uh, weight to press down to say just roughly uh, compare the two. Uh, I suspect the old one, maybe not only because of all the design, there may be a problem uh, with this one. Uh, piston whatever but uh, whatever we will try seems that this is a good this may be because of due to the uh, old design or maybe there's some uh, uh, problem uh, with this one we will try filling the with oil as much as I can and we'll try uh, the weight okay now we nearly uh, fill in the oil for this new design as much as I can I count uh, press down anymore and uh, you see the oil a uh, lot of oil from coming from the small hole when I press every time press there could be a little bit of oil coming in that the more oil uh, will be here now I take it out now we will try the weight let's the weight there up uh, I will just try to do this test or whatever Put it down, and I press with my key. Twenty-three kilo is going down, so we have twenty-three point six kilo. You see the piston? Can you see the piston going down? going down not at bottom okay so this is a uh, 23 kilo uh, let's try the other one I will try to fill in with uh, with oil first and then we're bubble 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 always the bubble so I have to block the hole press it down bubble glass bubble <sighs> press it down so not much harder but if I leave the hole press down it's still hard press down it's still hard but now at the bottom if I release it that the more air get into the hole so next time I press it down, there's going to be more bubble. See, more bubble. So in order to test the, the strength, I have to block the hole and fill in as much oil as I can. Okay. So this is our piston. That is that side. Try to press. Yeah. This is a more than 10 kilo, 15. This is the bottom. Never try again a uh, second time. So we just try a second time. I filled uh, with the oil again. Just to try now the press to the bottom. And uh, now it's a zero kilo. So during the time, it's about 10 kilo. Now it's a bottom up. So it's about 10 kilo for this one. So the new design is 23 kilo according to that weight. So that's uh, roughly uh, the strength for the uh, tensioner. Uh, maybe not accurate, but just uh, uh, what I can do.